Welcome to Oz Nomad Destinations. Follow us as we caravan our way around Australia. This is Ed and I'm Beck, and we're finding you the best free and budget camp spots Oz has to offer. Fishing, crabbing and hiking our way through this awesome country. For notifications, click subscribe and hit the bell and that will keep you up to date. So we are at the Kingaroy Showgrounds and today they've got the markets on and the speedway and we are definitely going to be making the most of that. It's a really nice grassed area, nice trees, it was really quiet last night, slept like a log. Anyhow, we are up to the markets this morning, give you a look at them. So this is your camp kitchen. There's a reasonably good sized fridge there, microwave, toaster and a kettle, dining room table. Do you want to pat? Oh, you got a little Shetland in there with you. Hello, you cute little thing. Aren't you just adorable? Hey, are you cute? You are cute. Hey, do you want your bum scratched? What getting your bombs? Oh, you want a pat too? You're very cute. Hello. We headed off to the markets. They were only really small. Ed bought a cake and we had a look around before we headed back to the van. The cost of the site was $25 per night and the lady in the office was fairly firm that we should have booked. The race cars had started to rock in and the grader and the truck were getting the track ready for the night so we set off to play tourists for the day. So now we are at Kingaroy and we are at Apex Park and we're going to the lookout. We did a drive past the biggest peanut silos I'd ever seen. They were just massive. So we're at the information centre, which is closed, and you can see those peanut gut silos right over the top of the building. They are massive. Not sure what these are. They look like little apples. There's probably a sign here somewhere if I look hard enough. It's a persimmon tree. It's an old peanut harvester. So today we are heading up to the Bunya Mountains for lunch. Can hardly wait, it's been a long time since we were up here. It's a 57 kilometre drive on State Route 49. It's very narrow and steep in places and not somewhere we would bring our caravan. So we're at Burton Well and it's a tent camping area only. And there's a toilet block and some barbecue. And a big old grass tree. Another grass tree. But yeah, tents only, no caravans. Fairly open. Moving on to the next spot. So this is Westcott Camp, tents only again. And a picnic area. And your toilet block. 
walking into Paradise Walk. What does that say? Paradise Falls 640 meters, Little Falls 1.2, Big Falls 2.6, and then there's a couple of others that are three and three and a half. But it's a beautiful drive in the forest once you get up into the mountains. It's all rainforest and bunya pines. All the camping sites can be booked at the National Parks website. There are also heaps of holiday homes on offer at the Bunya Village, as well as a general store and a couple of cafes. Lots of the picnic area with barbecues. We decided to do the Festoon Walk. It's a 1.6 kilometre loop. Holy heck, look at the size of that scrub turkey's nest. They have been very busy. This is so beautiful. Guide, we stuck this on the list to come to today. It's an easy walk through the awesome rainforest along beside a freshwater creek. So we are doing the Festoon waterfall walk, 750 meters. And it is stunning, loving it. And passes a few bunya pines on the side of the track. They are absolutely massive once you get up close to them. He's turned into a tree hugger. Anyway, that's a bunch of pine and it is a monster. So to climb these giant bunya trees, Aboriginals used to use an axe and just cut little footsteps into them climb up to collect the bunyas. That's pretty clever. That's a long way up there. <laughs> so these are the ones that really sting you. Look at all them spikes on that branch. That's what gets you. Look at the size of this for a vine. Goes all the way up and across and up into all that mess. So that's Festoon Falls. Last time we came it wasn't running and I'm so glad we came back because it's very beautiful. It was too early for lunch, so we decided to head back a different way, down past Maidenwell to a waterfall and swimming hole. So now we are going to for a walk to Coombs Falls. Not sure how long it is, there is no signage. It's all boardwalked down to the falls except the last 20 metres, which is all rock and I couldn't get down the big steps. It was a lovely spot and I should have bought the togs.
Then we grabbed a table in a park at Maidenwell and had some lunch. Headed back into Kingaroy to get ready for the speedway. How are some of these grass trees? Some form of a look at is dragging me too. Not sure exactly what's going on here. But by nine o'clock, we had eaten the worst burger and had our fill of Speedway and headed home. There is also a dump point on site, as well as toilets and showers. They're old, but okay. There was good internet and phone service, and it was nice to have grass under your feet for a while. 60 kilometers down the road, we came to Blackbutt and found the markets on, so we went for a browse around them and then checked out town. Make sure you go to the bakery. It is full of really yummy treats. <laughs> then we headed off to Tagula War another 49 kilometres down the road towards Ipswich. We arrived just after lunch to our free camp right in the middle of town. There are toilets beside the railway station and an IGA straight across the road. After setting up and having some lunch, about an hour or so, I said to Ed had he heard those planes and he mentioned that he thought there was a skydiving club near. So off we went for Luxy. There's nothing quite like watching 12 people fly down all at once. It was great. They were so pumped up. What? <laughs> The next morning, off on my walk down the rail trail, and you find the coolest things. How is this bridge? There is also the cutest railway station, built in 1904. I did a little look around town and found a fudge shop and of course had to take Ed back there. Then we drove past the Wyvernhoe Dam and then into Fernvale and stopped at the bakery for a pie before heading into Ipswich. Well that's us for this week. Keep in contact, stay happy and we'll see you at 6am next Sunday. It turned into a tree hugger.